Hey guys, what's going on? Apple back at it again with the Astroneers, and today we're getting shit done. So, I've decked out our little um, space shuttle that we made in the last episode. Got loaded up with fuel, got four extra tanks of fuel, and some uh, compounds so that we can make some tethers and go exploring some planets. But first of all, um, I thought that we would make this drill head together and go and have a look at what that does. Um, so I've, I've disconnected the, the truck there. Yeah, just so we're just taking the one. <clears throat> and we'll connect this bad boy up to... Ooh, ooh, connect. Alrighty. Now, if I'm not mistaken... First off, I have no idea how this works. <laughs> I thought I'd um, start off with that. Oh gosh, this is... Okay. Um, and I'm pretty sure we can use it on these weird things over here. Ah, so I, I thought we'd go check that out. Um, oh, 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 oh. Okay, come on. Yep, there you go. Yep, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Alright. So... Does this work? Do we need to press E? We need to drive into it. F. Shift. Control. I have no, no idea how this thing works. Um, so this might take a moment. Hold on, what if I click? Ah! So holding down M1 seems to do the trick. Can we mine these things? It doesn't look like it. That was very bright as well. I don't know about you guys, but it kind of blinded me. Oh, just... No, 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 no. There's a cave there. And you are doing weird things, truck. Oh. I don't know if it's lopsided or what's going on, but... This truck is being super weird. Alright, what about this thing? Can we... I think it might be the drill head on the front. Let's make it unbalanced. Oh well. We might miss. No. See, I heard you could get um, lithium from these things. From little things. Oh, what? Can we mine the ground? We can. Alright, so if we get stuck somewhere, we can just mine our way out. That's good to know. I was not expecting this. I, I thought I thought those things. Um, where are they? Over there. I thought they would give us what we were after, but um, apparently not. There's some hydrazine there. I don't need that anymore. We're completely decked out with hydrazine. Oh shit! Don't, don't do it. Okay, thank you. Um, let's go off in this. And now, I promise, guys, we're not going to get lost like we did last time and spend the whole episode trying to get back. That was completely once off. Okay, I'll um try and find one of those miney things that we can use this drill head on, and um, I'll bring you guys back then. See you in a second. Alright guys, we're back, and um, unfortunately, I have made an error in judgement. Um, apparently the crane, I did a quick search, I've been trying to search for this crane, well the, sorry, the, um, the rock to get the lithium from, I heard it from one of my friends, um, but it looks like, because I did a quick Google search after spending over an hour trying to find this bloody rock, that all the, the drill is, it's just an attachment for the crane um, that you can make in this game and you can remotely mine from your truck so if you're going around instead of seeing a copper patch or sorry a, um, a compound patch on the surface and you go oh, I've got to get out of my truck and mine it and put from my backpack into the truck and then go mine some more it actually just picks it up remotely so you're still in the seat at the truck you drill it up with the crane, go straight into the truck's inventory. Holy shit, there's a sandstorm coming. Oh gosh! Okay, okay, we're safe. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's just, it's used for the crane as a remote miner. So. 
unfortunately. Um, yeah, can't do any of that today. This seems like the perfect time to take off. We're going, we're leaving. Um, I've got two oxygen tanks on my back. Um, so when we leave the, the shuttle, um, we can go exploring a little bit. This is sweet! And yeah, you can see the, the compound there, and the, the fuel there. That is awesome. And there's a little, I think, oh no, these are all our big, these, okay, so, you can see where I've been on this world. I really did not go over this side, I was just looping around this side. Because these are all the beacons that I placed, trying to find home. And you can see where they all are. That is crazy. That is crazy. All over there. Damn, and yeah, there's there's home. So, God. Alright, now. When you're up in space, you click this button here. Boom, takes you to the outer view. And now from here, you can get to other planets. Uh, but they do have to come in your orbit. Now... On one of my other worlds, um, I was tr trying out the multiplayer, and I went into space. And the moon, barren planet, literally means a barren planet. There's nothing there, apart from some copper. So, if you wanted to go make a really good mining um, expedition, go onto the moon, grab yourself a shit ton of copper, and then come on back. Um, but for today, I think I really want... I really want to go to this planet over here. Um, what's this one? Radiated. Let's go to the exotic planet, guys. We'll check that out. And we'll, uh, we'll see how exotic the planet really is. Oh, that was quick. So, um, it doesn't look like it's used up that much fuel. Um, maybe a little less than a quarter. And now uh, what we'll do is... We'll land on the daytime side of this planet. Give ourselves some more light. Uh, that seems pretty good. Let's dive in here. Uh, now, yeah, there's, there is a bug in the game at the moment where you can kind of still see all your beacons up in the sky. Now, it's not actually where the planet is. It's just a... Uh, it's all blue. Nice. Sounds very windy out. Very windy. Oh, cool. There's research and stuff. Sweet. I want to check the. Okay. So I did test this out. You can place tethers if I make them. Hold on. Grab some compound. Now, I brought the compound because I wasn't too sure um, what we were going to find by way of resources on this planet. Um, oh gosh, that, that orbit's really close to our other planet. That is, that is a nice sight. Okay, let's go exploring guys. Oh, got some pop in here. Jesus, the land bridges are real. Let's try and jump over this gap. Okay. Looks like our guy was a gymnast in a past life. <laughs> Damn, look at all this research. Wow. Wow. Okay. Oh, and um, you can make habitats. I, I did some did some research um, after last episode because I felt I was a little bit um, under knowledged in the game. I was I was going in too blind. So is that all our tethers? I don't bring any more and it doesn't look like there's very many resources and those things should just be underground, not on the surface, thank you. Um, so yeah I thought I was a little bit too underknowledged. So I went onto Google and uh, good old Google and I went onto the official wiki for Astroneer and I did some research. Um, so apparently I need to do a lot more research because there's a thing you can make called the habitat 
And that's the thing that we landed in uh, when we started. And you're able to build your base off of that. So you can have off-world bases from the world that you started on. Um, but go out on different planets, which I think is really cool. So if I can go back, uh, I'll leave that to another episode. Today is purely exploration. Um, but I will remember to, it is really, this, this place must be really good for wind turbines. I mean, just listening, it just, it sounds windy, which is awesome. I love it. <laughs> so yeah, next episode, guys, we'll, um, we'll try and set up an off-world base, um, stuck on a plant, I think. And I think all I'm going to put on a base is just the, like a, a printer and maybe not even a printer, maybe just a research station. Um, because there's, there's also a upgraded version of the shuttle, uh, that we built last episode. Yeah, that you can find in research. And that allows you to carry so much more stuff. Uh, from the looks of the pictures that I saw, it looks like it's able to hold, um, eight slots. Uh, so at the moment, this one, the shuttle that we have, is just four. Um, but with this other other thing, let's see, what is this? It's the rock. It's a French spangled looking rock. Oh, and there's what? Just random organic resources on this planet? Cool, I actually want to take one of those back. No, yep, pointing is awesome. <laughs> um, so yeah, the the bigger the, the bigger ship, the bigger shuttle. Um, can hold twice as much stuff as um, what we're currently holding on our shuttle, uh, which is cool. This looks like coal. It looks like we can power our stuff with generators on this planet. I'll try and get two. There we go. Oh, there's hydrazine. Okay, so it looks like a lot of the resources that we find on our planet. Okay, I'm not lost. A lot of the resources that we find on the surface of our planet are not the same on other planets. Um, that's not completely surprising. I, I kind of assumed that. But it looks like we can we can dig down uh, to find those other resources. Which is pretty nifty. Alright guys, so... What do I got? Organics? I don't need that organics. I can... Go away. Alright, we'll head back. And, um, lift off again. Let's see if we can check out another planet. And I'll, um, store some of our coal. Alright, guys. Let's go. This planet was pretty cool. It doesn't look like there's any daytime on this planet, though. Um, unless we got really unfortunate and landed as it was going night time. So, looks like it's a very slow day-night cycle on that planet. Yeah, see, so you've got all these, these beacons and stuff. They're not actually there. These are just, um, just random, bugly bits. That's an arid planet. I, yeah, I really want to get to this planet here. So what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to cut the footage, wait for that planet to get really close, and now uh, we'll head over there. See you guys in a sec. Alrighty, guys, we're back, and this planet is getting super duper duper close. Um, no, I'm being a little bit pedantic. I probably got to, could have gone between these three planets like four times in the time space that it's taken to maybe get the chance of going to this planet here um but i think it's going to be worth it because it's another blue planet and i don't know kind of want to check out this radiated planet i think that might be cool the arid one i feel like that might just be too deserty um but regardless of that fact this world is a tundra world let's shoot over there i mean we've got plenty of fuel to check out all these other planets 
let's do it. And we're getting a little bit of wind noise in space, which is quite odd. I think that might just be a, a leftover uh, artifact, like a, like a sound artifact uh, from the other planet that we were on. And it looks like just hopping between uh, two planets has caused our fuel to drop dramatically. Um, so before we leave this... Oh, this looks cool. This looks cool, guys. Uh, but before we leave this planet, I feel like I'm going to fuel up a little bit. Might be a smart thing to do. Let's chuck some fuel in. Two cells should do us. Let's grab us some compound. Oh, sh we've only got one left. No, no, just two. Okay. But, um, that concerned me a little bit. Leave this one for another planet. And we'll go one tether. Oh, gosh. These are on... Fingers are on the wrong keys. Okay, this place is cool. I kind of want to check out. Oh, 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 no, 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 come back, come back, come back. Kind of want to go to the top of this mountain here. Check out the surroundings. Ah, uh, this is... This is a cool planet, guys. Kind of looks snow-capped as well, which is awesome. Uh, but it does look like there's hydrazine here, so I might just grab up some of this uh, just to fuel our adventures back because um, there are four planets in total and it looks like we can maybe go to oh shit maybe go to two um, before we kind of run out so let's chuck all at this oh yeah come on come on buddy ah. let's chuck our fuel on our ship just in the storage Let's go check out some more. Um, hmm. This landing site is not the best. <laughs> I think you guys will agree. <laughs> Can't really do much by way of exploring. Um, that was a little voice crack. <laughs> I swear, I'm, I'm not a, I'm, I'm, I'm not going through puberty or anything. Very oh gosh, that's not connected. Connect. Oh gosh. Very mountainy here. Oh my gosh. This is crazy. Can you imagine like a little base in here? And if there was like mobs or something, like enemies in the game, you could have maybe like some defenses piled up on this the, the ridges here and have one point of entry and exit. This is this is perfect for it. Perfect. Okay. Oh, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. Come on, stop sliding. Jump in the ship. This planet was cool. Let's go check out another planet. Alrighty guys, here we are, going for a touchdown on the arid planet. I'm expecting north of the desert. Oh man, it is red. I got damn. Doesn't look like there's anything here. Wow. So, why could I not have landed here? I had to land on that stupid little place. This would be a nice spot for a like a, like a habitat or a base or something. But I think with this arid planet, guys. Is I'm gonna mine. We're we're gonna try and go down. Doesn't look like there's anything there. Let's go down more. All right, I don't think that's gonna work. We're gonna try and find a cave here, guys, because I feel like there might be some cool stuff underground. It is an arid planet. Oh, is this something I can pick up? Nope. Hmm. Running out of tethers. And compound. I don't have much compound. Uh, so what I might do is I might pick up these tethers that I've placed. And... Oop! What was that? Is there a sandstorm coming? The hell was that? Oh, there is a cave down there. Okay. 
Alright, so. Grab our tethers. And we'll kind of place them here. I'm actually really worried about a sandstorm because it looks really windy on this planet. Well, yeah, look at them. What are they? They're definitely going to kill me if I get hit by one of them. I, I just know it. I just have this feeling. Uh, okay, let's just let's just go. Oh my gosh! Run to this cave. See a little entrance here. Pop it open. Alrighty, now I need to be very careful, keeping an eye on my oxygen supply. Doesn't look like there's much here, guys. I um, actually don't want to go past this fork because I, I know me and I am definitely going to get lost. Let's go. Oh, am I going to get lost? Okay, so it was west. The, the entrance was west at that junction. Uh, yeah, if you didn't know, you can mouse over your character, and there's a little compass. It's kind of handy. Oh, 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 that is a big drop. Uh, what is this resource here, though? This looks like a new resource. What is this? I'm sorry, what is that? Okay, now we're down to... Okay, let's, let's head back up. Okay, that is... It looks like titanium. Like if, like, um, copper's not called copper, it's, um, well, whatever it's called. Uh, so I feel like we might be able to smelt that stuff into... Oh god, I thought it was sandstorming for a second there. It was. <laughs> Good time to get... Oh, it's not storming here, is it? Is it in the storm yet? Oh crap. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. I'm scared. Okay, into the... Ooh. Lots of frames there. Wow. Wow. Yeah, if we were going to settle on this planet, I, I would need to settle underground. There's no way. Like, I mean, between those flying, whatever the hell those spike balls are. Like, that one, that one. That's right there. Between those and... I'm assuming constant sandstorms. This would not be a very hospitable planet above ground. Uh, so yeah, let's go and check out the last planet, not including the moon, the radiated planet. I'll see you guys there. Alrighty guys, here's the radiated- oh god! Hello! But mm. Okay. I am so glad I hit record when I did, because that, I'm glad you guys saw that as well. That was really weird. Alrighty. So here we are on this radiated planet. It looks like it orbits the sun crazy fast. And I'm pretty sure that would kill me if, if I stepped in it. Um, so I'm pretty sure we're out of compound, aren't we guys? Yeah. Alright, so I did see a little cave over here. Let's go check this out. Oh god. That sounds terrifying. Oh, okay. Yep. This planet just wants to kill us. Um, these things, in, in case you guys didn't know, uh, if you go near them, they will put you on a shish kebab. Uh, shoot out of all these red dots here, uh, they shoot spikes. And it's instant death. There's there's no... Oh, it's a sandstorm. Run back to the base. It's instant death. And I'm assuming jumping in one of those. Also instant death. And I... Don't really want to know what happens when I die. On another planet. Oh, I really want to know if that's aluminium up there. I'm going to risk it. Risk it for the biscuit. Looks like this is copper. Yeah, it's not telling us what the node is. Yeah, there it is, Malachite. And this is... Hematite? Is that the right? Yeah, well, laterite, laterite. Okay. 
Oh, and is that... Okay, so it looks like the radiated planet has a lot of copper and aluminium on the surface as well. That is awesome. Awesome. Alright guys, I'll meet you back on our home planet. Until then. Well, not until then. I mean, it's going to be like a one second jump cut, see? Told you guys it'd be a one second jump cut. And it uh, looks like we made it back with just enough fuel in the tank. Oh, let me jump. Okay, so. Things we wanted to check out really quickly before I end the episode. This is iron ore. Iron. Okay. Can we smelt that at all? Doesn't look like it. Okay. I think we found a resource that we can't actually use. <laughs> okay. That means that the uh, developers will be adding it in because uh, it does it does look a lot okay tell me can you tell the difference between the iron ore and the titanium no nah, that's because it's a placeholder definitely a placeholder uh, so that's gonna be it for this episode today guys uh, pretty sure next episode I'm going to go out and grab a whole lot of research with this truck, come back, hopefully get a crane. Um, I don't actually know if we have the research for that or where we find it even. Um, it might even be on my vehicle bay. Yep, the crane. There it is. Uh, so it just needs four copper. So next episode, we'll look at the crane. Um, we might even look at setting up um, a habitat on another planet. For that though, I'm going to need to do, do some research because uh, I do not have a habitat, I believe. No. So, oh yeah, and um, I made another battery as well. Just over here. There it is. Um, so yeah, next episode guys, crane, habitat on another planet. And uh, till then guys, See you later.